Hi guys, welcome to Cindy Loves Jewelry, and today I'm going to show you just a brief, short haul of some things that I got buying individual pieces. I don't do that very much because I normally buy lots, and so um, the uh, jewelry jars and the lots have just not been very plentiful lately, so... Um, Anyway, so it's been, I think, two weeks, two and a half weeks since I bought a lot. Sorry, my nose itched. <laughs> so somebody must be coming to see me. So I'm going to start with this. I bought it. It is, let's see. Can you see it? There you go. It's a little, let's see. Does that help? There. Just about like that helps. It's a little bird. Um, there's a nest with three little pearl eggs. Um, it's Avon. And um, it's a tack pin. And I paid a quarter for it. I like quarters. Then I bought this. I thought this was super cool. Um, it's a red enamel pipe. And uh, has no markings on it has a chip in the enamel though there right there so it'll probably go in a lot with some other things it's only a dollar then I got this uh, brooch I'm fastening the pin so I don't poke me I got this brooch it is a big cat with his mouth open and he is really pretty and I know I'm holding that right in front of my face oh, oh, oh wait that wasn't funny Anyway, and he's also a pendant and a brooch, and there is nothing on him. That is just, I don't think that's any kind of a mark, and I looked at it earlier. Anyway, he was um, $3 at the Sally Ann store. Y'all know what Sally Ann's are? These next pieces all came from a um, flea market where the lady had all of her jewelry marked half price. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, looks like six pieces here. I paid eleven fifty for them, so it was less than $2 a piece. So, there, I'm going to save my two favorites for the end. Set them out of the way. And I, it was all about long necklaces. This one here is just a... Um, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five strand that almost looks like liquid, liquidy rope chain, and, um, it does have a tag, hang tag that says VJ. I have no clue who VJ is. If you know who VJ is, uh, tell him I have his necklace. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, not really. I'm just being silly. Um, this one did not have any marks on it. And it also has these little things like this. See these little bars in it? And um, let's see, this one right here has a missing rhinestone. So I will have to replace it. But it's just a really pretty long necklace. There's no fastener for it, it doesn't fasten. In any way, you just put it over your head. It's really pretty, um, even if it is gold. <laughs> gold is not, I'm not a, a big fan of gold tone jewelry. Now, I love this. It's got three different kinds of chains, and they're all different. And then it's got a tassel at the bottom. Oops. Try not to show that. Show my psoriasis thing. I have a flared up place on my arm. So, anyway, I may have to edit that out. <laughs> talking pretty soft hopefully hopefully you heard didn't hear all that so anyway but uh, um yeah I think it's really pretty it's it's long it hangs down about the top of your bra so so anyway so now this piece right here is really interesting and I untied it and it banded together down there so I retied it made it look a little better but Oh my word, it is 56 inches long, so it is so long, and it's two strands, and it's just this, 
Uh, they they look like a flat. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it has a hang tag that says Express, so I know it's a modern maker. But then they tie in a knot. They were tied in a knot when they came, and so I untied them to see. And they're actually fastened together with metal, so um, I retied them and made the knot look a little bit better. It was real loosey goosey. So anyway, I love this piece. I love silver. This this hangs all the way down to my belly button. <laughs> I know I'm wearing things amuse me easily so oh I'll show you the bracelet I'm wearing today it's a Damascene um, bracelet so I'm gonna pull it off because I want to show you this this is I love this okay this was originally marked six dollars and then she had it on for half so I paid three dollars for it normally I don't ever pay three dollars for an individual piece of jewelry but uh and it's even gold, and that even makes it even more surprising that I like it. <laughs> but look at that. Is that not beautiful? AB stones. And it's, um, it's really pretty. Gold. These have a texture in them. And I was really surprised because I figured it would be some like Trafari or Coro. It just has that look, that old look, but it didn't have no signature at all on it. But it's in really good shape. None of the gold tone is flaking off in the in the um, uh, joints. I don't know what those are called in the connections there. So it's really pretty, and it's pretty long because I have a really large wrist, and uh, it fits my hand, and it is really, really cute. So it is one of my favorite out of all of them. And then these are just, they're just amazing. I love them. I absolutely love them. It's a pair of clip-on earrings. They have this bright blue stone. And all these little fish. And they are so stinking cute. They're adorable. I have not looked up any kind of comps on any kind of this stuff. They're not marked anywhere that I can see any kind of a marking. Let me just look at something right quick. Nope. It's just texture in the metal. So, but um, they're really cute. Let's see. I do have on a pair of hoops. We'll see if we can get them on over it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I may have to keep them. And I don't wear much gold, but if those things were silver, there wouldn't be a chance they would be leaving my home. I like them. They were $3 also. And I don't rarely pay $3 for a piece of jewelry because I'm all out about getting a bargain, but those are really stinking cool. So, that was a short haul. I know it was short, but I thank you all for coming and seeing and for viewing and uh, leave me a comment about what you think about any of this i think this cat is really cool and um he's non-magnetic but i don't see any markings for silver so but i may go ahead and test him for silver he originally i think some of these marks here may be where his original brooch pin was because it looks like his brooch has been glued back on he is really cool and you know, I live in a small town in Arkansas, and the mascot for our town, for our school team, is Bearcats. Does he look like a Bearcat to you? I don't know. I'll have to go and look at their their team mascot and look. Really cool. So, you guys have a great evening, and thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, please. Be blessed. Be kind to each other. Happy picking. Bye-bye.